this Sunday at Survivor Series, we get a little preview tonight on Raw when the number one contender for the WWE title, Tommaso Ciampa, teams up with Sheamus to take on Karrion Cross and the WWE Champion himself, Seth Freakin' Rollins. This Sunday, we come to you from Madison Square Garden in New York City. But tonight, we are here in the Heritage Bank Center in Cincinnati, Ohio, for your final stop for Monday Night Raw on the Road to Survivor Series. Last week, Rhea Ripley made a statement defeating Zia Lee, but Zia Lee challenging the Nightmare to a rematch just six nights before she defends her title in the world's most famous arena. Day from Adelaide, Australia, the WWE Women's Champion, Rhea Ripley. Well, this Sunday night at Survivor Series, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, Becky Lynch, Becky Lynch ambushing Rhea Ripley. Well, this Sunday night, Rhea Ripley will defend the WWE Women's title against Becky Lynch in an Extreme Rules matchup. This thing has boiled over week in and week out on the road to Madison Square Garden. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Becky Lynch just absolutely blowing up our opening matchup, but nonetheless, this Sunday, it's Extreme Rules. It's Becky Lynch and Rhea Ripley one-on-one -on -one for the Women's Championship of the WWE. And man, this thing has been hot and heavy for well over a month here on Monday Night Raw. Remember, back before Clash at the Castle, Rhea Ripley taking out Becky Lynch with the Women's Championship across the dome. And you remember just a few weeks later, Becky Lynch's homecoming to Dublin, Ireland, spoiled by the champion herself, an ambush from behind, similar to what we saw moments ago, and sent right into those steel steps. Well, Becky Lynch getting a measure of revenge last week here on Raw, Rhea Ripley defeating Zia Lee, and Becky using a ladder to ambush the Nightmare. And obviously all this chaos is what led to not only one more meeting between the man and Rhea Ripley this Sunday night, but with the stipulation added of extreme rules. Becky Lynch threw down the gauntlet, Rhea Ripley getting meant from behind yet again moments ago by Becky Lynch, but something's gotta give. Only one woman can stand across the division on Monday Night Raw as the champion. Who is it gonna be? Will it be Becky Lynch or will it be Rhea Ripley? We find out this Sunday at Survivor Series. Coming your way on Sunday night, November the 19th at 5 p.m. Eastern time. It's a live premiere event. It's the 2023 edition of the Fall Classic. The Thanksgiving week tradition. It's WWE. Survivor Series! Brought to you by Monday Night Raw and Friday Night SmackDown. And not only is this going to be a night of epic proportions, but it will emanate from the world's most famous arena, Madison Square Garden in New York City. Don't miss Survivor Series, live from MSG on November 19th. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are back inside the Heritage Bank Center, and we're going to try to refocus. I'm not sure what's going on with the women's division, but Sol Sokoa is here, and the street champs in action. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 250 pounds, Solo Sokoa. Well, Solo Sokoa also hot on his way to Survivor Series this Sunday, where he will compete in a traditional Survivor Series elimination match, a part of Team Karrion Cross alongside the Judgment Day, as those four men take on the prize fighter Kevin Owens, the World Tag Team Champions Butch and Ridge Holland, and of course the man you will see in your main event later tonight, the Celtic Warrior Sheamus. Monday Night Raw has been a Absolutely boiling point, to say the least, across both divisions. The men, the women, the road to Survivor Series has been tumultuous, to say the least. A lot of these hotter heads, well, they're going to blow this Sunday at Survivor Series. I cannot wait to get to Madison Square Garden this Sunday night. And his opponent from Charlotte, North Carolina, weighing in at 200 pounds, Cedric Alexander. 
Well, be sure to set your reminders as we are live this Sunday at 5 p.m. Eastern time for the 2023 edition of the Fall Classic Survivor Series. And eight huge matches signed, six championships to be decided. It is going to be a huge night in the world's most famous arena, Madison Square Garden in New York City, live this Sunday. As for tonight, we are live from the Heritage Bank Center in Cincinnati, Ohio on Monday Night Raw. And a lot just happened in the first few moments. We are supposed to have Rhea Ripley and Zia Lee kicking things off. Becky Lynch throwing an X Factor in there to say the least. I don't know what's going to happen in that situation. But nonetheless, Sol Sokoa live and in color here tonight. And he's got Cedric Alexander on his hand. And Alexander, who has had a rocky couple of months here on the red brand, has got to be looking at this huge opportunity to take down one of the most feared superstars in that entire Raw locker room and get some momentum on his side tonight. Alexander's been chasing the Intercontinental Championship for what feels like all year long on Monday Night Raw. Unfortunately, not able to secure the gold. Maybe a victory against the street champ tonight can remind the world that Alexander is still a contention. Look at Hot so far against Solo Sokoa. Solo has been a busy man on Monday Night Raw to say the least as of late. You remember the Deadly Games Eliminator Tournament that took place a few weeks ago here on the Red Brand. All thanks to the actions by the street champ, Solo Sokoa. We just mentioned it moments ago, but it has been a tumultuous road to Survivor Series for the Monday Night Raw All-Stars. Remember, Bobby Lashley, the Almighty himself, was originally supposed to fight. Seth Rollins at Survivor Series for the WWE title. That was until Solo Sokoa ambushed him in the locker room during a WWE.com interview, absolutely fracturing ribs of Bobby Lashley, which of course came 24 hours after a collision with Brock Lesnar at Clash of the Castle. All those beatings sidelining Bobby Lashley until further notice, and Solo Sokoa demanding his opportunity, went right to the top and took out the original number one contender. That all led to the Deadly Games Eliminator Tournament, which Sol Sokoa, of course, was upset in that matchup because he was not even pinned to be knocked out of the Eliminator. Took issue with the prize fighter Kevin Owens, those two men with several brawls the last few weeks. Now they'll stand across the ring yet again from each other in the traditional Survivor Series Elimination bout this Sunday night. So much writing on what the events are gonna be this Sunday at Survivor Series. I cannot wait to get to Madison Square Garden but nonetheless, Solo Sokoa taking the fight to Cedric Alexander right now. And Solo enjoying the fruits of his labor, but Alexander reminding him not to take the eye off the ball. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm getting some breaking news right now. Uh, evidently, the WWE Women's Champion Rhea Ripley has stormed out of the building here tonight due to the events of moments ago. The number one contender for this Sunday, Becky Lynch, will now take on Zia Lee later tonight on Monday Night Raw. Huge turn of events after what kicked us off moments ago. The women's championship scene absolutely heating up in recent months. Becky Lynch looking to settle the score with Rhea Ripley, was embarrassed on multiple occasions. Rhea took away that homecoming for her in Dublin, Ireland a few weeks ago. Becky's looking to take it all away from Rhea this Sunday at Survivor Series. But first, she tries to go through Zia Lee here tonight. Nonetheless, Sol Sokoa heading to the top. Samoan splash by the street champ. Into the cover. And that'll do it. Solo Sokoa with an impressive victory tonight in Cincinnati. Well, the street champ, who has been the topic of discussion to say the least as of late on Raw, making some more noise here tonight. Here is your winner, Solo Sokoa. Well, can Solo Sokoa be on the winning side of the affairs in the traditional Survivor Series elimination match for Raw this Sunday night? at Survivor Series. Coming your way on Sunday night, November the 19th at 5 p.m. Eastern time. It's a live premiere event. It's the 2023 edition of the Fall Classic, the Thanksgiving week tradition. It's WWE Survivor Series. Brought to you by Monday Night Raw and Friday Night SmackDown. And not only is this going to be a night of epic proportions, but it will emanate from the world's most famous arena, Madison Square Garden in New York City. Don't miss Survivor Series 
live from MSG on November 19th. We are back here in Cincinnati for Monday Night Raw, and Cameron Grimes is set for action against the reigning Intercontinental Champion, the Defiant, L.A. Knight. A lot of history between these two men. A few years ago at NXT, they reunite that old rivalry tonight here on Raw. And his opponent from Hagerstown, Maryland, weighing in at 230 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, L.A. The last time we saw L.A. Knight in action came two weeks ago on Raw Halloween. It was an epic battle against Sami Zayn, and for L.A. Knight it was a successful defense of the Intercontinental Championship. Sami Zayn absolutely pushed L.A. Knight to his limits two weeks ago in Dublin, Ireland. Remember the moonsault from the ropes all the way to the announce table, crushing L.A. Knight down to the ground. Unfortunately, L.A. Knight found a window of opportunity moments later, was able to strike, was able to take down Sami Zayn, and was able to retain his Intercontinental Championship. Whether you like his attitude, you like his ego, the loud mouth that a lot of WWE superstars do not take kindly of, L.A. Knight has done, done nothing but produced results ever since winning that Intercontinental Championship. Now tonight, he's got Cameron Grimes here on Raw, and Grimes looking for the quick victory. Kick right to the jaw, but LA Knight has seen some of the best and he has fought some of the best and certainly beaten some as well. Cameron Grimes, however, looking for this major opportunity to go his way tonight. Not somebody who has had a lot of success here on Monday Night Raw. Getting this opportunity against the Intercontinental Champion, you gotta believe a win for Cameron Grimes would put him at the front of the line for a future championship opportunity against the defiant LA Knight. More remains to be seen. You see Cameron Grimes not being overzealous right now. Sends LA Knight to the outside and gonna pick his spot. Cameron Grimes, remember, he knows LA Knight pretty well. These two men had several battles a few years ago in NXT. One of those being a ladder match over the million dollar championship. Nonetheless, this is years later and LA Knight has skyrocketed to success. He doesn't call himself the megastar for no reason. Cameron Grimes looking to join in on that spotlight, not just yet. Cameron Grimes has fought LA Knight before and he's looking to get that big time W tonight. And again, possibly put himself as a future contender for the Intercontinental Championship. However, LA Knight not interested in that Cinderella story. LA Knight has defeated Ilya Dragunov to win that championship back in the summer. Retained it over the Invincible one as well. He's taken down Cedric Alexander, has taken down Sami Zayn. Now LA Knight looking to Move on to greener pastures here on Monday Night Raw. And not looking for that to be another collision with Cameron Grimes. LA Knight looking to make a statement to the Red Brand tonight. Especially after that victory two weeks ago. Where he was on the brink of losing his championship. You know LA Knight wants to send a message to the Raw locker room that he is going to be here to stay as the Intercontinental Gold. Now LA Knight, my goodness! Dropping Grimes right, right on the crown of his head. Right outside on the hardest part of the ring. And the defiant champion heading to the top. LA Knight may be nearing victory, but he might have miscalculated that maneuver. Cameron Grimes known to take things to the sky. LA Knight not so much, and it may come back to haunt him there. Big time knee. Cameron Grimes is certainly fighting an uphill battle tonight. His back up against the wall, but LA Knight, as we already mentioned, not interested in the Cinderella story of Cameron Grimes. So nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen, it's been a hot and heavy night already here in the Heritage Bank Center, Cincinnati, Ohio. Of course, how we kicked off the show, we were supposed to have Rhea Ripley and Zia Lee going one-on-one -on -one in a rematch tonight. Becky Lynch, the X Factor, the woman who will fight the Eradicator herself this Sunday, throwing a wrench into those plans. And again, from what we are told, Rhea Ripley frustrated after that, after that brawl, and has ambushed, or I shouldn't say ambush, has left the arena. And now Becky Lynch will take the spot of Rhea Ripley and will fight Zia Lee later tonight here on Raw. Also still to come in your main event, Tommaso Ciampa, the man who will challenge for the WWE title this Sunday. 
teams up with a man who has recently challenged for the gold and the Celtic warrior Sheamus as those two men look to settle a score before Survivor Series against Karrion Cross and the WWE Champion Seth Freakin' Rollins. High stakes, high reward, tensions running at an all-time high on the road to Survivor Series this Sunday. Meanwhile, LA Knight looking to bring this thing to a close. However, Cameron Grimes is still fighting from underneath. LA Knight dropped him with that burning hammer. Could have been going for a BFT. However, Cameron Grimes did his homework and is taking the fight to the champion right now. Man, this could be the biggest victory of Grimes' career here on Monday Night Raw if he can take down the Intercontinental Champion. Well, amazing to be seen. Look at that maneuver. And a cover. Will that do it? LA Knight thought he could have been down and out there, not just yet. You know, you got to wonder. LA Knight, two weeks removed from that all-star collision against Sami Zayn for the Intercontinental Championship on Raw. You got to wonder if LA Knight is even coming into this match 100% tonight. All questions that... We may not know the answer to, but nonetheless, the champion is in the ring right now, and he is not looking so hot against his opposer. Cross body, followed by a swanton bomb. And Grimes thought he could have been maybe going for an exclamation point on this matchup. However, the champion feeling a sense of urgency. And another counter by Cameron Grimes. Arm drag takedown. And Cameron Grimes is coming alive tonight. Sees the opportunity wide open. They're looking to take advantage of a weakened champion here in the middle of Cincinnati. LA Knight is dazed and confused and Cameron Grimes hooking a leg, wrapping him up. Small package cradle into the cover. He got him. Cameron Grimes got him. Oh my goodness. Well, Cameron Grimes shocking the world tonight and certainly going to shock LA Knight when he wakes up from that defeat. What a win for this young star here on Monday Night Raw. Here is your winner, Cameron Grimes. Is the Intercontinental Championship in the future of Cameron Grimes? Is that young man here to stay on the red brand? Cameron Grimes with a huge victory over LA Knight. We could be looking at the next number one contender for the Intercontinental Championship. Cameron Grimes with the victory, and he's looking to go to the moon. We want to take you back to earlier tonight on Raw. Rhea Ripley making her way down the aisle to compete against Zia Lee. However, attacked from behind by the number one contender, the man Becky Lynch. These two women will fight for the richest prize in the women's division on Raw this Sunday at Survivor Series. But because of these events, Rhea Ripley, infuriated at the assault, has left the arena, leaving a wide open spot for Becky Lynch to challenge Zia Lee tonight. Get some last minute momentum on her side and send a message to the champion that she is coming for the gold. Full swing ahead this Sunday night in Madison Square Garden. And nonetheless, Zia Lee wanted a rematch against Rhea Ripley after her defeat last week. Little change of plans. She's going to get the woman who spoiled that rematch, that being the man, Becky Lynch. Nonetheless, this is a huge opportunity for Becky to build momentum towards this Sunday and a chance for Zia Lee to put herself in contention for the WWE Women's Championship. Opportunity continuously on the line here on Monday Night Raw. And from Dublin, Ireland, Becky Lynch! You remember how this all started? Becky Lynch has been on a chase for the WWE Women's Championship all throughout 2023. She finally earned herself the number one contendership, challenged Rhea Ripley for the championship back at Clash of the Castle last month. However, that situation, the Annie really got upped just six days prior on Monday Night Raw as we showed you the highlights earlier tonight. Rhea Ripley ambushed Becky with a championship shot across the dome, which has sent Becky Lynch into a rage of fury ever since. Becky Lynch, there was rumblings in the locker room that she was not done with Rhea Ripley 
even after coming up short at Clash of the Castle, that she wanted a retribution, that she wanted to take away the championship from the Eradicator. Rhea Ripley did not take so kindly to those rumblings, ambush Becky Lynch in her own homecoming of Monday Night Raw in Dublin, Ireland. Becky trying to get a measure of revenge last week using that ladder against the Nightmare herself. And it has all led to this, the events of tonight and the events that will take place this Sunday in Madison Square Garden when it's Becky and Rhea at Extreme Rules. Nonetheless, we are live here in Cincinnati, Ohio, Heritage Bank Center. Thank you for joining us so far on your final Monday Night Raw before Survivor Series, one of my personal favorite events of the year. Six championships to be decided. Not one, but two traditional Survivor Series elimination matches, one from Raw and one from SmackDown. There's going to be an awesome event this Sunday live at 5 p.m. Eastern time. Nonetheless, focusing in on the action here, the Monday Night Raw Women's Division, Zaya Lee again wanted that rematch against Rhea Ripley after coming up short against the Nightmare just seven nights ago. However, Becky Lynch and her anger and frustration towards Rhea Ripley spoiling those plans. Rhea leaving the building out of her own frustration tonight, leaving a wide open spot for Zaya to take on Becky Lynch and lead us to a very interesting situation. This is last minute momentum for Becky Lynch if she can get a victory tonight over Zaya Lee. On the flip side of the coin, Zaya Lee pins the number one contender. You gotta believe Zaya is gonna be waiting in the win for whoever leaves Survivor Series as the WWE Women's Champion. All well, remains to be seen what is going to be the result as Monday Night Raw continues forward live tonight from Cincinnati. Becky Lynch went to the top moments ago, second guessed herself as Zia Lee was a little far out, but her hope that doesn't come back to haunt her. Looks like, oh, wait a minute, Zia Lee sidestepped it. Might have been playing possum the whole time, and I believe Becky second guessing her dive from the top or whatever she was going for, not going to come back in a fortunate way for the man. Zaya taking control in this women's division contest. Now mounting the ropes in a big time crossbody. In the last year at Survivor Series, Zaya Lee was on that card participating in the Women's Tag Team Championship Tournament Finals. One year later, Zaya Lee trying to find herself in contention for the WWE Women's title here on Monday Night Raw. Zaya's got all the tools to be a success. One of the most prolific strikers in the entire women's division in WWE. Certainly a feared competitor to say the least. Zaya's got to produce results. She has pushed some of the best of them to their limits. Absolutely. But can she get the W here tonight? That spin kick to the jaw may do just that. But Becky is still into this matchup. Credit where it's due. That's some of that prolific offense we were just talking about. Zaya Lee looking good in this matchup right now. Oh, wait a minute, Becky Lynch, a sense of urgency out of the number one contender, going right for the disarmor submission hold. Able to muscle Zaya Lee down to the canvas after what has been a grueling fight so far. Zaya's trying to hold on, but Becky's got the submission locked in tight. And Zaya's got no choice but to tap out. Is the man more motivated and focused than ever before to take down Rhea Ripley and become the new WWE Women's Champion this Sunday? Well, she has chased that gold all year long from Elimination Chamber to WrestleMania to Clash of the Castle to this Sunday. Can Becky Lynch finally get the job done and raise that championship high in the sky in the middle of the world's most famous arena? Here is your winner, Becky Lynch. Momentum on the side of the challenger. But with a frustrated champion, something's got to give an extreme rules on Sunday night. Coming your way on Sunday night, November the 19th at 5 p.m. Eastern time. It's a live premiere event. It's the 2023 edition of the Fall Classic. The Thanksgiving week tradition. It's WWE. Survivor Series! Brought to you by Monday Night Raw and Friday Night SmackDown. And not only is this going to be a night of epic proportions, but it will emanate from the world's most famous arena, Madison Square Garden in New York City. Don't miss Survivor Series, live from MSG on November 19th.
Ladies and gentlemen, we are back here on Monday Night Raw. We are under the impression that Rhea Ripley had left the building tonight, but evidently she is here, and a brawl has spilled out for the backstage area. Rhea Ripley and Becky Lynch try to tear each other apart before they enter Extreme Rules for the WWE Women's title in Madison Square Garden at Survivor Series this Sunday night. Something's gotta give. Who's leaving with the gold? It is the 2023 edition of the Fall Classic, and it is coming your way this Sunday night, live at 5 p.m. Eastern time from MSG. It is Survivor Series, and this, this night on Monday Night Raw has really been center focused by the WWE Women's Championship. Becky Lynch, Rhea Ripley, Extreme Rules, something's gotta give. Who's leaving the garden at the top of the division? And of course, in the SmackDown side of things, the brand new Women's World Championship to be decided in an elimination contest. Candice LeRae, Shayna Baszler, EO Sky, and Raquel Rodriguez all qualifying, all make their way to the Big Apple on Sunday night. Ilya Dragunov moving to SmackDown thanks to his win in the Cruiserweight Classic. Another perk, challenging Santos Escobar for the Cruiserweight Championship of the world. I got a feeling this is going to be a good old fashioned wrestling contest on Sunday night. AJ Styles has turned his back on anybody who does not benefit his United States Championship desires. This Sunday night, he challenges the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes for the red, white, blue, and gold. Not one, but two traditional Survivor Series elimination matches on hand. Team Austin Theory featuring Randy Orton, Braun Breaker and Grayson Waller challenge Team Edge featuring Rey Mysterio, Johnny Gargano and Ricochet, an all-star lineup from Friday Night SmackDown. And on the Monday Night Raw side of the fence in another traditional Survivor Series elimination match, it is Team Karrion Cross featuring the street champ Solo Sokoa and the Judgment Day, Damian Priest and Finn Balor taking on Team Sheamus featuring the prize fighter Kevin Owens and the World Tag Team Champions Butch and Ridge Holland. What a fight that is gonna be. It is the Friday Night SmackDown main event for the World Heavyweight Championship. Two titans of the blue brand collide. Drew McIntyre has held the gold since WrestleMania. Gunther has been on a collision course all year long. McIntyre, Gunther for the big gold belt. And for Monday Night Raw, Tommaso Ciampa surviving the Deadly Games Eliminator and is the sole challenger to fight the visionary for the WWE Championship this Sunday in Madison Square Garden. What will happen when Seth Rollins puts the gold on the line against the Blackheart of Monday Night Raw? That is all coming your way live this Sunday at 5 p.m. Eastern Time from the world's most famous arena, Madison Square Garden in New York City. It is the 2023 Survivor Series. But as for tonight, we are live from the Heritage Bank Center in Cincinnati, Ohio for Monday Night Raw, and it is main event time. This Sunday, the Harbinger of Doom, Karrion Cross, leads a team into battle. Tonight, he stands alongside the WWE Champion, Seth freaking Rollins, in a matchup with a lot of momentum riding on the line towards this Sunday. And Karrion Cross has got issues with both men opposing him tonight. Tommaso Ciampa has knocked off Cross on not one, not two, but three separate occasions in recent months. And Karrion Cross taking issue with the Celtic Warrior all the way back at the Raw season premiere in September when Karrion Cross was defeated in the midst of that gauntlet matchup by the Celtic Warrior. And this is a man in Karrion Cross who had challenged for the WWE Championship on multiple occasions this past summer. Unfortunately, those opportunities slipping through the fingers of the Harbinger of Doom. Follow that up with a streak of bad luck. And you got a man who has not been in a good mood in a long ass time here on Monday Night Raw. But all that could change starting here tonight. A victory that could propel him to the winning side this Sunday at Survivor Series alongside the Judgment Day and Solo Sokoa. All remains to be seen if he can get through a red hot number one contender in Tommaso Ciampa and a man who has had his number in the past, the Celtic Warrior Sheamus. Certainly a big fight field just six, six nights out from the 2023 Survivor Series. 
Something's got to give this Sunday as tensions have been running red hot on Monday Night Raw as of late. Nonetheless, Karrion Cross looking laser focused on victory tonight. It all remains to be seen if he can get the job done against two men who have taken down the Harbinger of Doom in recent memories. The visionary, the revolutionary, the WWE champion, Seth freaking Rollins has held the gold since SummerSlam in August and looks to roll in the Survivor Series this Sunday, hoping for another successful WWE Championship defense. And his partner from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, the WWE Champion, Seth Freakin' Rollins! We touched on it earlier tonight, but what a road to Survivor Series it has been for the WWE Championship. Seth Rollins originally supposed to fight Bobby Lashley, then Lashley goes out with fractured ribs, and the Deadly Games Eliminator gets announced, which Tommaso Ciampa is the one to survive. But what about last week on Monday Night Raw, when Rollins had a score to settle with a man who has pinned him in the past in the big strong boy, Tyler Bate? If Tyler Bate would have won that matchup, we may be looking at a triple threat this Sunday for the WWE title. Luckily for Rollins, he was able to get the job done and he focuses on one sole challenger, that being the Blackheart Tommaso Ciampa this Sunday at Survivor Series. But tonight, him and Karrion Cross go 2v2 against not only Ciampa, but a man Rollins has been at war with here on Monday Night Raw in recent memory, the Celtic warrior, Sheamus. Representing the Brawling Brutes from Dublin, Ireland, weighing in at 267 pounds, the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus! Well, Sheamus may have come up short against Tommaso Ciampa a few weeks ago on Saturday night's main event to fail to get that WWE Championship match against Rollins, but of course Sheamus is hot off the heels of two opportunities against the Visionary, will live to fight another day for the gold, and even though those matches against Rollins might not have gone his way, tonight is a night for Sheamus, not only to build some momentum towards the traditional Survivor Series match this Sunday, but to get just a little added retribution against the man who cost him several months of his career, that being the visionary, Seth freaking Rollins. And from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, weighing in at 201 pounds, well, marching his way down the aisle is the number one contender, the man who outlasted Karrion Cross, Shinsuke Nakamura, and his tag team partner tonight, Sheamus, in the Deadly Games Eliminator, and the man who will challenge Seth Rollins in the middle of the Big Apple this Sunday night at Survivor Series. Tommaso Ciampa has been climbing the ladder of success all year long here on Monday Night Raw, and it could all culminate in the biggest victory of his career this Sunday at Survivor Series. All remains to be seen, but it is main event time tonight in Cincinnati, and we are underway with Sheamus and Karrion Cross. These two men will lead their respective teams in the battle in the traditional Survivor Series affair on Sunday. But tonight, an early preview of each other's cards, so to speak, and Sheamus going for that bicycle kick three times in a row, or should say bicycle knee. Karrion Cross had it scouted. Sheamus looking for a knockout blow early, but Karrion looking to bring the punishment to the Celtic Warrior tonight. Again, it will be Karrion Cross alongside Finn Balor, Damian Priest, and Solo Sokoa as they take on the brawling brute Sheamus the tag team champions Butch and Ridge Holland, and of course Kevin Owens in that four on four classic this Sunday night. Seth Rollins getting tagged in and looking to do what he has done on back to back months in September and October. And let's take out the Celtic warrior Sheamus. May have just costed himself a moment ago, tried to take Tommaso Ciampa off his game, and Ciampa had it scouted, and now Sheamus gonna take advantage of the WWE champion. 
Any chance Sheamus gets to get his hands on Rollins, certainly not an opportunity he's gonna pass up. These two went to war last month at Clash at the Castle in that last man standing matchup. An uneventful night for the Celtic Warrior, but tonight could be a little bit different. Rollins and Sheamus may go down as the rivalry of the year in 2023. Tonight is not about the feuds of the past. It is about what is to come this Sunday as Sheamus now tags in Champa. And look at this double team maneuver by these two bruisers. Sheamus off the backbreaker. Champa with the elevated knee. Not enough to get the three, but it's enough to break things down momentarily in this tag team match. Sheamus going after Karrion Cross a moment ago, but now Tommaso Ciampa taking his sights to the man he meets this Sunday and dropping him right on the crown of his head with a DDT on the apron. Remember seven nights ago, Ciampa right after Rollins had defeated Tyler Bate, laying out Rollins with a fairy tale ending inside the squared circle. Huge message sent last week on Raw, looking to do so again tonight. Seth Rollins now on spaghetti legs inside of the ring as the number one contender scales the ropes and sails across the ring with a big time lariat. Imagine what the psyche of Rollins will be if he comes up short, not only to Sheamus tonight, but against the man he meets this Sunday in Tommaso Ciampa. Seth Rollins needs to avoid a loss at all costs tonight. As for Tommaso Ciampa, the confidence will be at an all time high not only with the red-hot streak he's been on here on Monday Night Raw, but if he can defeat the WWE Champion in some way, shape, or form tonight, what momentum that will be for the number one contender on Sunday. Karrion Cross getting tagged in, and here we go. Champa and Cross, who have had some wars themselves. Remember just a few weeks ago, these two met in a London street fight. Champa defeating Cross on that night. And just seven days later, pin Karrion Cross. And a triple threat match alongside Shinsuke Nakamura in the Deadly Games Eliminator for Karrion Cross, looking to erase those victories from the annals of history tonight. Beautiful cross arm breaker, like Karrion Cross or not. Not able to put Champa away, but that was a beautiful takedown by Cross. There's one by Champa to steal the victory, not just yet. We have got one hell of a main event on our hands thus far. We are live tonight from the Heritage Bank Center, Cincinnati, Ohio, just six nights before the 2023 Survivor Series, and it is a Raw All-Star Collision in your main event. Tag made to the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus, and a tag made to the WWE Champion, Seth Rollins. Sheamus, a little overzealous that time, may have gotten caught, but never count out this brawling group. Sheamus knows Seth Rollins' arsenal very well, trying to use it against him here tonight. You know, we can't help but look back at Clash at the Castle, and Sheamus very well may be standing here as the WWE Champion, had it not been for his own anger and frustration, wanted to get that one final blow on Rollins that ultimately cost him. Remember, Rollins hit that curb stomp on Sheamus right on top of the steel chair, and Wrong Sheamus' hopes and dreams to a bitter end that night. And looking to do it again tonight. A pedigree by the champion. And Sheamus survives, but for how much longer? Rollins laying out the Celtic Warrior with a move he has felt firsthand before. Sheamus might have kicked out, but damage certainly done. Now tags in the Harbinger of Doom carrying Cross. He's looking to turn his momentum all around tonight. Remember Sol Sokoa at the top of the hour able to defeat Cedric Alexander, certainly bringing some high momentum to Team Cross this Sunday. What about last week on Raw with the Judgment Day laying out Butch and Ridge Holland with those steel chairs inside of the ring. Team carrying Cross for the victory in this main event could have all the momentum on their side. Come Madison Square Garden. Sheamus trying to get back into this matchup. Tag made to Tommaso Ciampa. Who's had some great luck against the Harbinger of Doom. Cross is just trying to get to his feet right now, but he is going to get met with a shot right to the dome by the number one contender. And Ciampa starting to unload. Tommaso Ciampa not looking to see defeat. In this final clash before he gets to the biggest matchup of his career this Sunday, Ciampa hoisting Cross in the air and dropping him on the knees. Into the cover. But Seth Rollins breaking things up, a close call. 
Almost near the end of this matchup. And Ciampa looking to divide and conquer and take out Seth Rollins off the apron. Terry and Cross. Maybe all kinds of dazed and confused, looking for fairy tale ending, but wait a minute. There's a reversal by Cross. Well, Cross doing his homework. He has been in that situation one too many times to not try to find a way out of the fairy tale ending. Man, if Champa hit that maneuver with Rollins still down, this thing might have come to a close. But Karrion Cross has got other plans. Oh no, a straight jacket locked in on Tommaso Ciampa, the number one contender, starting to fade. Oh, luckily Sheamus is still stirring and able to break up that submission hold momentarily. There's the dangers of a tag team matchup. Always got to keep your eyes in the back of your head. This, once again, Sheamus not going to allow this match to see a conclusion just yet. Arian Cross may have the number one contender hurt, however. Surviving isn't necessarily thriving inside of that squared circle at Tommaso Ciampa fighting an uphill battle at this current moment. Back and forth, the pendulum of momentum begins to swing in a big time knee to the jaw. Karrion Cross has gotten met with a few of those knees, whether it be by Ciampa or by Sheamus in this match. Lights may be on, but who is home for the Harbinger of Doom right now? Cross on the top, Tommaso Ciampa looking to bring him down with emphatic force. Could be going for a superplex here. Oh, wait a minute. A counter by Cross, and Ciampa eats the canvas. Well, that might have spelled disaster for Karrion Cross and his tag team partner. However, Seth Rollins being tagged in, looking to continue to have the momentum on their side. Wait a minute. Fairy tale ending by Chip out of nowhere. He's going to pin the WWE Champion. Not just yet. Tommaso Ciampa trying to catch Rollins off guard. And I'm taking care of Karrion Cross. My goodness, Seth Rollins getting tagged in. Thought he had Ciampa in an opportune state. Gets struck with a fairy tale ending. Luckily able to survive. Cincinnati coming unglued for this all-star tag team matchup tonight on Raw. Oh, wait a minute. Sense of urgency out of Rollins. Turn stop to Tommaso Ciampa. And that's going to do it. Into the cover. Tommaso Ciampa is able to survive thanks to the Celtic warrior Sheamus. Man, if this is an early preview of what we are going to see this Sunday in the Garden, and New York City is certainly going to be in for a treat when the WWE title is on the line. Rollins and Sheamus, or I should say Rollins and Ciampa, going tit for tat there, but however, Tommaso Ciampa's the one, seemingly a little bit more hurt at the moment. Rollins looking to continue to have the foot on the gas pedal. Another forearm to the back of the already injured neck. Now tag made to Sheamus, tag made to carry and cross, and cross catching Sheamus with a big time knee. Now, I don't like this predicament. Tommaso Ciampa made the tag, but at what cost? He's a little bit useless at the moment, laid out on the outside, and he's, I should say Sheamus is fighting a handicap match. Carrying cross with the tag to Rollins, Sheamus taking care of cross. Kept his back turned to the champion, Seth Rollins now. Looking to do what he has done at Unforgiven in September and clash at the castle last month. Oh, wait a minute, backbreaker. Seth Rollins repeating history, hitting Sheamus with his own bro kick. And that'll do it, an embarrassing defeat. But Seth Rollins and Karrion Cross got the momentum on their side for Survivor Series this Sunday. Well, Sheamus and Ciampa fought till the very end but things not going their way in this final Monday Night Raw stop before Survivor Series. Here are your winners, Karrion Cross and Seth Rollins. Well, momentum may be on their side, but victory tonight does not guarantee victory this Sunday when the lights are on bright in the world's most famous arena. Team Karrion Cross meets Team Sheamus in a traditional Survivor Series matchup, and Seth Rollins defends the WWE Championship against the Blackheart, 
Tommaso Ciampa. Six championships to be decided. Two traditional Survivor Series affairs. All coming your way live at 5 p.m. this Sunday at Survivor Series. Face on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back, I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat, gonna see me rise, you can hate on that, I don't play both sides, doing me no cap, I'm a rapper.